Okay, so we're looking again at springs. We're going to continue with springs and tension. So in the previous video, we saw how we had this scenario with a spring and a brick. Either the, the spring is being compressed or the spring is being stretched. Okay, now consider a scenario. Let me see if I can get my tablet going here. Consider a scenario where, say now we've got this the uh, ceiling and we have a spring and we have a brick there. Okay? And what we do is we keep, so we, we apply the, uh, we attach the brick to the, the spring and it stretches it. Okay? Then say now we apply another brick, a, an extra brick. So now we've, say, two bricks. So it's twice the, the weight now. It stretches even further. Okay, so maybe it's, it stretches x1 there. And then it's going to stretch x2. And then you put another brick on. Okay? Say, x, say there's three bricks. And it stretches x3. Okay? If, when you remove any of these bricks, uh, please pay attention. If I remove any of these bricks and it goes back to its original length, right, of x0, that's its, say that's its relaxed length. If you stretch it and you stretch it more and you stretch it more, and then you remove the bricks and it comes back to its original relaxed length, then that means that it has it's in its elastic elastic oh my goodness sorry okay it looks like I can't write elastic range okay elastic range it, it means that you can deform it deform it deform it and then when you let the the this gravitational force when you remove it it goes back to its original position so that means that the spring was in its within its elastic range okay there was no permanent deformation however if you if you keep applying more bricks uh, more force more whatever and it does not return then it means that it has reached its elastic limit okay or you have exceeded 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 its elastic limit if you go past a certain length of the spring you permanently deform it and if you remove these bricks it will not go back to its original elastic limit okay oh sorry its original relaxed length then if you keep uh, applying even more force okay say so now even four bricks and it it's possible that the spring will eventually break okay so i hope that helps let's let's have a look at exactly what the textbook is saying here okay over a certain range called the elastic range the compression is reversible the compression or the stretching is reversible okay it can reverse back to its original length okay now okay so I've spoken about this um, if stretched beyond a certain point called the elastic limit the spring no longer reverts to its original length and if you keep increasing the, the force it will reach a breaking point okay all right see you in the next one